welcome to our afternoon service. Yesterday is the second Sunday of January of 2023. Wow! The Lord is good. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Amen. And if you are excited to praise and worship our God, get your Bibles and open it to Psalms 138 and we will read it together. Are you there? Okay. I'm reading from verse 1. Psalms 138. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods, I will sing your praise. I will bow down towards your holy temple and will praise your name. For your love and your faithfulness. For you have exalted above all things. Your name and your word. When I called, you answered me. You made me bold, you made me bold and stout-hearted. May all the kings of the earth praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. May they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is on high, He looks down upon the lowly, but the proud He knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord will fulfill His purpose for me. Your love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Lord love, the Lord love us so much and He saved us and He wants us to taste and see His goodness. Hallelujah. Let's praise our God.
Can we worship our God? Can we thank our God this moment? Lord, thank you for your goodness. All the time, you are good. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness that we experience every day. Father, as we continue to honor and worship you, allow this heart to fill it with worship. Thank you, Lord, for this time that we can freely honor you and worship you. Father, you see the hearts of each one in this place. Longs to meet you. Longs to, to be filled with your presence. There is no one else, Lord, in this place that we want to honor but you, Lord Jesus. There is no
Praise His name, church. Come on, let's just worship Him. Let's put out the other Baka di dito po kayo ngayong hapon na ito at yung mga isip po, yung naisip niyo po. Bakit Panginoon? That is in our heart and that is in our mind and we think, why Lord? Marami naman po sa atin dumadaan sa tinding hirap sa buhay, mga stresses sa buhay, ang daming mga uncertainties. Baka minsan po, pumapasok po sa puso natin, bakit panik Panginoon, bakit po napakahirap ng buhay? Mga kapatid, ito po ang salita ng Panginoon. Ito po ang sabi, ito po ang sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin po ngayong hapon na ito. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord? Minsan siguro yun ang feeling po natin. Lord, napakalayo mo ba? Nakalimutan niyo na ba kami? Hindi niyo na ba, Panginoon, nakikita yung hirap ng buhay, itong mga dinadaanan ko po? Ito po yung sagot dyan. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. The Lord is is the everlasting God. Ibig sabihin, the Lord God is the same yesterday, today, tomorrow. If yesterday the Lord God helped you, He will help you today. If yesterday God caused a miracle, God can do the same miracle today and He can do the same miracle tomorrow. Sabi po dito, the creator of the ends of the earth, kung may problema po tayo sa katawan po natin, if we are sick and if we are tired, ang Diyos po, Siya po ang lumikha po. He is the one who created your body. And He is the same God who can heal you of any and all sickness today. Sabi po sa salita ng Panginoon, He will not grow tired or weary. Hindi po Siya napapagod. Hindi po Siya natutulog. In fact, sabi po dito, His understanding no one can fathom. Baka po sa isip nyo, hindi po alam ng Panginoon kung ano pong dinadaanan nyo. He doesn't know where you're going and what's happening in your life. Ayon po sa salita ng Panginoon, He knows exactly what is happening in your life. Why? Because God cares for you. God loves you. So let me encourage you today. Let us focus on the goodness of God. Let us focus on the greatness of God. Kung nakatingin po tayo sa ating mga problema, puro problema na lang po makikita natin. Pero kung tingnan po natin, if we just worship and focus on the goodness of God, then let His goodness just surround us. Tapos po natin ating mga kamay in faith. It is a knock of surrendering, saying, Lord, I surrendered my life to you. I commit my life to you. At the same time, sinasabi po natin, Lord, I understand your goodness. You are good and you are good all the time. Let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. The goodness of our Lord. Hallelujah.
have been faithful. Siguro bawat isa po sa atin, we can say that. We can declare it. Bawat isa po sa atin, we have a narrative. May sinasabit po sa atin yung sarili po nating isipan, Lord. We, we say things na hindi ko kaya, napabayaan na ako, ang hirap-hirap na buhay. What if we say to ourselves, all my life, God has been faithful? What if we say to ourselves, God has never left me? God has never forsaken me? What if we say in our own mind at declare po natin sa oras na ito, God has blessed me so much. Amen. Let us praise Him, church. Let us praise Him because the Lord God has always been consistently good. Sabi nga po, He has always been consistently consistent. Tayo po, pabago-bago po ang isip po natin, pabago-bago ang feelings po natin. But God is always God, and God is always good. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Salamat po, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. The Lord, bawat hakbang po na, na ginagawa po namin, Lord, bawat desisyon, minsan palpak po yung mga desisyon po namin, minsan po nawawala, naliligaw po yung landas po namin. But Lord, you have always been faithful. The Lord, you pick us up and you redirect us. That Lord, even though may mga times, Lord, ready na po kaming sumuko, Lord, we are ready to give up. You have never given up on us, your people. That even today, Lord, you are running after us. You are pursuing us, Lord, with your love. Kaya po, hindi dito po kami ngayong araw na ito, Lord, because you love us so much, Lord. You have given your best to us. So today, we return our very best to you. Some of us, Lord, wala po kaming pera, wala po kaming ari-arian, but the only thing we have, we have lips that we can say, I love you, Lord. We have hearts, Lord, that say and declare from inside, Thank you, Lord. Kaya mga kapatid, kung ano man sitwasyon nyo, if you are sick, would you praise the Lord today? If you are in need, would you praise His holy name? If you are whatever your condition is, why don't you just say, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, and I thank you. I thank you. And as we thank God and as we release our blessings upon God, May the Lord God release His love and blessing and healing upon you today. Lord, meet with us in our areas of need. Kung healing man, Lord, yun, persistent coughing, persistent headache, persistent sickness, isa lang pong sagot yan. We have a loving Father who can say, Be healed in thy precious name of Jesus. If there is a need right now, don't look any further because out of the riches of the God's kingdom, He will supply for all your needs. Father, hindi po kami ulila. We are not orphans. We are not left alone. But today, Lord, puno-puno po kami. We are full of life and blessing because of Jesus who is here in our midst today. We thank you, dear God. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. Can we declare this today? All my life, I am. Let's sing this again. All my life, you have been faithful. po natin yan. Come on, let's sing it. All my life, you have been so. Oh!
tayo umu po. Can you greet? One, two, three, four. Greet five people with a God bless you. Bless somebody today. Bless somebody today. Hallelujah. Meron pong power sa declaration when we declare to somebody, God bless you. And you are blessed today. Amen. Please prepare now our hearts. Prepare your hearts as, as we minister, uh, the choir ministers to us. Um, if you have not yet received yung elements of communion, kung wala pa po kayo nito, yung, uh, cup at yung bread, pakitaas lang yung kamay so that uh, an usher would be coming around to, uh, to uh, give you the elements.
on the night that Jesus was betrayed. Ito po yung iniwan sa atin ng Panginoon, ni Jesus, on the night that He was betrayed. Kumuha siya po ng tinapay and He gave thanks. He broke it. Pero I would like to emphasize, to focus on one word. Sinabi niya. Sabi ni Jesus, do this in remembrance of me. Inaamin ko po, dati na po problema ko, medyo mahina yung memory. Hindi ko po alam kung dahil sa paputing buhok, pero dati pa yung sinasabi po ng nanay ko, itim pa po yung buhok ko. Sabi niya, kung hindi raw nakakabit yung ulo ko sa katawan ko, hinahanap ko siguro yung ulo ko kung saan ko iniwan. Pero ganun po yung pagkaintindi natin sa remembrance. Eh. That we remember, para bang may nakalimutan tayo. Na one moment na everything is ganito, normal lang, then out of nowhere, uy, oo nga, may nakalimutan ako. I remember something. Kung ganun po yung understanding natin ng Hebrew concept of remembrance, malaking, actually, malaking kawalan po yun sa atin. Dahil ang understanding ng, ang Hebrew understanding ng remembrance is not a matter of putting it back into memory as in may nakalimutan tayo tapos babalik natin sa memory. It is actually focusing on something. Putting it in front of us. When we say, do this in remembrance, ibig sabihin, hindi yung nakalimutan natin yung tinapay, pero we put it in front of us. At hindi lang yun. Ito ang importante. We act on it. We act on it. Gagawin natin. So, communion is not just remembering what Jesus did on the cross 2,000 years ago. Ang communion, hindi lang yung naalala natin na, ah, okay, si Jesus, pinako siya, namatay siya sa cross, his, his blood poured. Hindi lang po yun. It means, meron po tayong gagawin. We act on it. So what if Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago, but our life does not show it? In communion, para bang pinapakita natin at we are declaring first to ourselves and to one another, may meaning po yung ginawa ni Jesus sa cross 2,000 years ago. At yung meaning na yun, we live it today. It is a sacrificial love. Kumbaga, Jesus died on the cross. We are to be partakers of that. Ibig sabihin, we also should die to ourselves. We should also die to our feelings. Minsan yung mga feelings natin, hindi maganda eh. We should die to itong selfishness natin. So that we can love one another as Christ has loved us. Today, prepare lang po yung bread. Wala pong special dito sa bread na ito. Siguro po itong tinapay ko dito, mas malaki kaysa inyo. Hindi naman po sa laki ng tinapay. Ang importante po ay nasa puso. If we believe, Jesus said, this bread is my body. This bread is my body. Hindi naman niya sinabing literal. Hindi naman po literal. Ito yung katawan niya. This is spiritual. And when we partake of communion, pag nag, uh, we take communion, there is something spiritual that happens in our life. Especially if we believe. Because 2,000 years ago, when Jesus took the bread, He broke it. 
At yun po nangyari sa katawan niya, physical na katawan niya. His body was broken so that we may be made whole. By His stripes, we are healed. Pusible kaya that as we partake of bread, kung may sakit ka ngayon, kapatid, you are healed? Yes, it's possible. If it is God's will, and you believe, and you receive it, it's possible. So today, why not believe? Wala namang mawawala sa atin eh. Let us believe that as we partake of bread, something special and wonderful will happen in our lives because Jesus made the way. Let's partake of the bread. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Covenant. Ano yung covenant na yun? Covenant is a promise. It is a promise of faithfulness. Even when we are not faithful, God is faithful. Kahit na hindi tayo consistent sa pamumuhay natin, yung buhay kristyano natin, God is always faithful. Kahit na minsan tinatalikuran po natin ng Diyos, God remains faithful. Yan po ang covenant. And it is a covenant signed in His blood. That we, tayo, hindi naman tayo worthy. Sino ba dito ang worthy? Ako po, number one na makasalanan siguro. Kami po dito, yung mga preachers, naku, tindi ng kasalanan lang po namin. Naamin naman po yun, naamin yun. We are not perfect, but our God is perfect. We might be sinners, but God has healed that and provided the way for the forgiveness of sins. I may be sickly, but my God is my healer. Baka palaging may kulang o kulang po yung mga kailangan ko, I, I do not have the things of life, God will provide for all my needs. Ganun po ka-faithful ang Panginoon. That's why He loves us so much. At ito po yung demonstration ng pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa atin. His blood, yung dugo niya, flowing from the wounds in His body. And by partaking of the cup, hindi lang yung we remember, but there is something that happens within us, spiritually, that as we partake of the cup, there is healing, there is forgiveness, there is life. Let's partake of the cup. Hallelujah. Panginoon, salamat po. Salamat po sa provision na binigay niyo po sa amin. Madalas po, madali po kaming makakalimot. We forget. But beyond forgetting, Lord, starting today, instead of forgetting, we act on it. We act on the remembrance. Palagi po, sinasabi namin sa sarili namin, Lord, next time, next time na lang. But perhaps today, this is the day of commitment. This is the day of dedication. That as we have partaken of the cup and the bread, we rededicate our life to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord God the best clap offering, church. Hallelujah. Sa may mga dalang mga anak, mga bata, apologies po. Next week, full blast na po ang Kids Zone. Today being the last uh, day na uh, closed yung Kids Church natin. And today, we also have the kids teacher who are here today. Can I ask the kids teacher, yung mga kids zone teacher, uh, yung mga ministers, the kids zone, uh, please stand. Nasaan po kayo? Kids zone. Are you there? Yan. Can we recognize you? Can I invite you to come forward? Come on. Thank you. Kids zone. 
Yes, let's, let's appreciate the teachers. Come on, let's appreciate them. Let's give them the best clap offering. Um, wag nyo, don't, don't face me. Why don't you face the congregation this time? Yan. Minsan-minsan lang nasa front stage sila eh. Kadalasan po sila. Actually, they are doing something that personally, Brother Dilip, Pastor Dilip, I do not want to do. <laughs> it is a gift. Lata po ng parents dito, it is a gift to take care of children. And kung may mga iba sa inyo dyan, if you are there today, and God is moving you to volunteer sa kid zone, uh, you can approach Pas- Pastor Dilip or any of these teachers and, and help out. Kailangan po natin ng all the help that we can get sa kid zone. Next week po, mapapalaban na sa liyaan dahil... Uh, Marami pong community. Yung mga um, harvest from Pasko sa Mascardo who will be coming in. Actually, may nakikita akong isang grupo doon at may mga grupo dyan. So next week, do bring your children again and their teachers will be there. But more, kung led kayo by the Lord to volunteer sa Kids Zone, please approach Pastor Dilip or any of these workers here today. Can I invite everyone to extend the hand of blessing upon them as we pray? Agree with me. Panginoon, we give thanks to these teachers. They have come up and said yes to you. Lord, alam niyo po yung mga hours of preparation and sacrifice that they have taken that they take the great patience and care that they have. Lord, today, would you bless them and bless their prayers, O God. Answer their prayers. Would you crown their heads with peace and joy? Would you surround them, Lord, with your amazing grace? Would you anoint them, Lord, to speak and reach out to the hearts of the next generation so that the next generation will be prepared to serve you and worship you. Father, we lift up to you the Kids Zone Church as we thank you, Lord, for their service, for their love for our children. And to you, Lord, be all honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. (laughs) Salamat po. Thank you, Brother Drilip. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Salamat po. God bless you. Ngayong araw pong ito is our first day in our three weeks of prayer. So for the next three weeks, we will be going through prayer. And on the last week of the month, fasting. Kaya hindi po prayer and fasting. Prayer muna and then fasting. Siyempre, may prayer pa rin yun. Now, at the back, after the end of the service, pwede po kayong lumapit sa mga ushers sa likod. And we have this booklet available. Hindi po ito Sunday Word. It is a booklet entitled, Pray First. It, is, it was prepared, it was compiled, written by Pastor Michael Shreve. So, sorry na lang po. I think every page is in English. Pero pwede naman tayong reading in tongues. Pwede nyo pong basahin to, go over it every day as your devotion. Pwede nyo din gamitin as a family devotion and prayer or sa care groups nyo. Up to you. Ngayon, ito lang pakiusap po namin. I think there is not enough copies for everybody. So ang pakiusap lang po, one booklet per family. Amen? One booklet per family. Amen. So, wag po natin kakalimutan after the service, let's partake of, let's uh, be a church that prays and puts prayer first. Ito po yung subject na napakadali and yet, Napakahirap. Prayer. It is so easy. Napakadali. Anybody can pray. 
At sa totoo lang, halos lahat ng, lahat ng relihiyon at uh, naniniwala ako, kahit na po yung hindi naniniwala sa Diyos, nagpe-pray. Hindi ko alam, I'm not sure about this, yung mga lawyers dito, yung mga nasa legal profession, even yung mga memos nyo, yung mga memos na kasulat ito, prayer, pleading, may hinihingi sa judge. So prayer, lahat po tayo at one time or another or every time, lahat po naman tayo nagpe-pray. At yun po yung problema. It is so easy to pray that it is also so easy to misunderstand prayer. At kadalasan tayo po mismo ang nagpapahirap sa prayer. Today, I'd like to share some verses from Luke chapter 11, verses 1 to 2. Ito po siya. This is part of the Lord's teachings about prayer. May mga Bibles po na nakasulat po dyan at uh, ang common teaching po yan sa CE at uh, sa mga ibang klases, ang tawag po dyan is the Lord's Prayer. It is a pattern of prayer. At sabi po dito sa verse 1, minsan na nalangin si Jesus sa isang lugar nang siya'y matapos sinabi ng isang isa sa kanyang mga alagad, Panginoon, turuan po ninyo kaming manalangin. Turuan niyo po niyo kaming manalangin. Tulad ng ginawa ni Juan sa kanyang mga alagad. Sinabi ni Jesus sa kanila, Kung kayo'y manalangin, sabihin niyo'y, Ama, Ama, sambahin lawang inyong pangalan. Mga kapatid, how do you pray? Paano ba tayo nagpe-pray? O nagpe-pray ba tayo? Do you have problems when it comes to prayer? Or nag-assume lang tayo na nagpe-pray tayo? Ilan ba sa atin dito nahihirapan manalangin? Ilang kaya sa atin consistently nananalangin? Ilang ba sa atin dito marunong manalangin? Alam nyo, minsan, we assume too much. Ilang ng gatherings nangyari and there is a prayer for the food. Siyempre, ganun naman tayo mga Kristiyano, di ba? Kung may pagkain, we start with prayer. And, Tuturo lang ako. Ewan ko itong daliri ko minsan. Tuturo. Ganon, tuturo ko. Brad, ikaw mag-pray. At makikita nyo kagad yung muka. Makikita nyo, nagbabago yung complexion. Namumutla. Nawawala ng boses. Bakit kaya? Maybe because hindi sanay mag-pray. Sa totoo lang, minsan, grabing hirap talaga manalangin sa Diyos. ba? Bakit kaya? Sa palagay ko, maraming dahilan kung bakit ang hirap mag-pray. Maybe. Maybe napipilitan lang po tayo mag-pray. Kasi dapat ang prayer, prayer kusang lumalabas. How... Ano pa yung attitude natin sa prayer? Napipilitan ba kayo mag-pray? Itong 21 days of prayer, napipilitan ba tayo mag-pray? Sa isang Kristiyano kasi, ang common understanding is, Kristiyano ko eh, dapat ako mag-pray. Eh kung dapat ako mag-pray, posible ba napipilitan lang pa tayo mag-pray? O kung hindi kaya, is it possible we misunderstand prayer completely? Ito po yung title ng sermon ngayong hapon ito, Napilitan o Kusang Loob? Napilitan lang ba tayo o Kusang Loob? Tingnan po natin yung context ng 
uh, Luke 11, verse 1 and 2. Actually, verse 1 lang. Kailangan pong basahin natin mabuti at siguro magdrama ng konti dito. Maganda yung may konting drama eh. Minsan, nanalangin si Jesus sa isang lugar nang siya'y matapos. Minsan, pagbasa natin, when we read Bible, the scriptures, we need to ask why. Bakit pa kaya linagay ng, ni, 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 ano, ni Luke yung phrase na yun, nang siya'y matapos. It's a very important detail. It's a very important detail. Sa palagay ko, ito yung common occurrence. Madalas na nangyari po ito. Jesus, every morning, magigising siya, pupunta siya sa isang lugar. Katulad nung bundok na yun. Doon, sa likod ng drums. Sabihin natin, yun yung bundok. Ando doon po si Jesus, nagpe-pray. At habang nagdadasal siya, eh, syempre yung mga, yung mga disipulo niya, yung mga alagad niya, mga, mga usi yun eh. Pinagmamasdan siya. They're watching. Nakikinig sila. And then, after Jesus would, would finish praying, bababa na sila, pupunta sila kung saan-saan, pupunta sila sa mga villages. At uh, alam po natin yung stories. There will be miracles. Yung mga patay, nabubuhay, yung may mga sakit, eh, they get healed. Yung mga uh, ang dami, ang daming tao, eh, Jesus is able to provide. May bagyo, eh, eh, and the, the storms are silence. And then the following day, madaling araw, si Jesus pupunta na naman dun sa bundok at yung mga disipulo nakikinig. Pinagmamasdan siya. Ano kaya? Pusible kaya nakokonek nila? Ano kaya yung nangyayari doon sa prayer na yun na pagbaba ni Jesus, there is power in the prayer? Di ba mga kapatid, impress tayo sa mga miracles. Gusto natin yung mga healings. Gusto natin yung mga miraculous provisions. Gusto natin yung mga supernatural. Pero sa likod ng bawat miracle, there is someone praying. Amen? Amen? Prayer is the gateway to the miracle for the miracle to happen. Dito po sa 3 o'clock service, meron po tayo mga prayer intercessors. Ano dito sila? Actually, mga prayer intercessors, nakaputi ngayon. Kung makakita kayo mga nakaputi, mga intercessors yan. Amen, intercessors. Asher ka man, special events ka man, o tamborin ka man. Bilang isang Kristiyano, you are an intercessor. Amen. Why? Because as a Christian, hindi tayo napipilitang mag-pray. Kusang loob nagpe-pray. Kasi alam po natin, connected po yung prayer sa miracles. Kaya isang umaga, well, hindi pa naman tayo, hindi natin alam, umaga man, hapon, gabi. While Jesus was praying, may isang disipulo. Naglakas ng lukob. Siguro, ala, eh, parang yung mga Pinoy ngayon, di ba? Ikaw na, ikaw na. Nagkagano na. Ikaw na, ikaw na. May, may isang lumapit. Naglakas loob. Lumapit na siya. Nakikinig. Tagal naman. Tagal. Tapos narinig niya. Amen. Ayun, tapos na. Tapos na. Hinintay niya hanggang matapos yung prayer. Why? It tells us that Jesus was being observed. Kasi alam nila, bakit ito si Jesus may power? Kami wala. Anong meron si Jesus na kami wala? And they came to understand the reason was the prayer. And that is why, that is why, 
after praying, they ask the question. Mahirap bang isipin mga kapatid yung connection? Mahirap bang isipin i-connect na if there is a prayer that happens, there is something that will result from the prayer. Mahirap po bang ma-imagine that when we pray to God, God releases a special blessing or something happens from heaven to earth. Mahirap mo bang isipin po yun? Kasi somehow, itong mga disiplong ito, naintindihan po nila. And that is why 2,000 years later, eto tayo ngayon. Eto tayo ngayon, 3 o'clock service, mga present day believers at followers ni Jesus. We are filled with the Spirit, kapatid. Kamusta ang prayer life new? Boring? Wala? Dead? Non-existent. Mga kapatid, sa observasyon ko, marami pong Kristiyano kuno. Sa totoo lang, di marunong magsimula kung paano magsimula ang prayer. Maraming mga Kristiyano hindi marunong magpray. Marami na po akong na-meet na di marunong magpray dahil hindi po nila alam kung paano sila magsisimula at hindi po nila alam kung anong sasabihin. Mga kapatid, may mga Kristiyano na hindi nagpe-pray dahil sa palagay nila, feeling po nila, hindi naman po sila papakinggan ng Diyos. Masakit man, it hurts saying that. But there are Christians today, marinig lang, Father, ayaw na. Shut down na sila. Dahil lang sa, 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 sa salitang ama. Paano ako magpe-pray sa isang ama? Na yun, sarili kong ama, ginugulpe ako. Paano ako magpe-pray sa isang ama na hindi ko naman kilala yung sarili kong ama? Paano ako magpe-pray ng father kung yung tatay ko dito na hindi ako binibigyan na kahit ano? Paano ako hihingi sa tatay, sa ama ko sa langit kung yung mismo kong ama na nakikita ko, pinapahirapan ako? Kaya maraming Kristiyano, hindi marunong magpray. Kasi kung ano-anong pumapasok sa isip nila. May mga ibang Kristiyano, mas may tiwala sa sarili. They have no trust in God, but they trust themselves. Kapatid, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, sana hindi ikaw yun. Para hindi magtampo yun sa kabila, sabihin mo rin doon sa kabila. Yan. Baka mamaya magtampo. Yung iba naman, ayaw nilang napipilitan sila. Hayaan mo ako, gusto kong yung normal, gusto ko yung sarili ko. Ang feeling nila, binibigyan silang obligasyon. Oy, Kristiyano ka, kailangan ka magpray. Pray kag tatlong beses, umaga, hapon, gabi. Ay, ayaw kong ganun. Yung nanay ko, yung tatay ko, puro na lang ganun. Pati ngayon, ganun pa rin. I want to be free. So yeah, you don't pray. Gusto natin, malaya tayo. O oh, sige, malaya ka, huwag ka magpray, pray ka sa buhay mo. Mga kapatid, if you are not concerned with your prayer life, kung hindi po tayo serious sa prayer po natin, sa palagay nyo, will God be serious with you? Will God be serious with us? My answer is this. Magpray man tayo or hindi, God will remain faithful. God is faithful, God is good. Pero sayang. 
Sayang na andiyan dyan na naghihintay lang siya. He wants to participate in your life, in my life. Gusto niya tayong i-empower. Tayo, puro issues. Walang tiwala, too busy, too tired. Kapatid, sana hindi kayon. To understand prayer, para talaga maintindihan po natin ang bottom line ng prayer, kailangan po natin isipin, kailangan po natin isipin that the key to prayer is to know who God really is. So ang tanong ko po sa lahat dito, who is God to you? Huwag niyo, po, huwag niyo po akong tatanungin. It's not important. Hindi po importante who God is to me. It's not important who God is to Brother Willie, to Brother Lester. No. Kailangan nito personal. Kayo mismo magsasagot. Who is God to you? Pwede niyang sabihin, well, sabi ni Pastor Louis, ki Pastor Louis, God is faithful. Eh, ki Pastor Louis yun sa'yo. Ano yung experience nyo? Wala. Bakit? Wala eh. Eh, ki, ki, pa, ki Brother Willie, pa, paano yun? God is almighty. Eh, sabi ni Brother Willie, God is almighty. Sa'yo, kapatid, who is God to you? Bawat isa po sa atin, we have to come up with this. Kailangan po maintindihan natin who God is to you personally because God is a personal God. At ito po ang sabi dito sa salita ni Luke. Tingnan po natin. God is number one. First of all, God is your heavenly Father. Who is God to you? At the very least, dapat sagot nyo, siya po'y God. God, uh, God is my Father. May mga Diyos, small d, may mga Diyos na sobrang busy at walang oras para sa atin. May mga Diyos na sobrang layo, hindi tayo naririnig at walang pakialam sa buhay natin. May mga Diyos na gawa sa bato o kahoy at di nakakaritig at di nakakasalita at hindi nakakatkita at walang kapangyarihan. Pero sino po ang Panginoon sa inyo? Sabi po dito sa Luke, God is your, my heavenly Father. Pwede pong sabihin natin, God is my Father. Sabihin po natin yan, God is my Father. Sabihin nyo sa kat- katabi mo, God is my Father. Sa kabila, sabihin nyo, God is my Father. Deklara niyo po sa sarili niyo, God is my Father. Hindi po siya katulad ng earthly fathers natin. Alam ko, naintindihan ko naman yun. Yung mga ibang tatay, nako, walang pakialam. Yung mga ibang tatay, nako, sila pa, papagalitan kayo, gugulpin kayo. Pero ang tatay natin, ang ama natin, our God, our Father in heaven, He is good. And He is good all the time. Pansinin po natin, kung babasahin po natin itong buong context ng, ng Lord's Prayer, meron doon model prayer, meron doon isang parable, at yung katapusan yun, sabi doon, our God is good. Paano? If your, heaven, if your earthly father is evil, kung yun sarili mong tatay, hindi ka bibigyan ng isang ahas, what more our heavenly father? Kaya at ito sasabihin ko sa inyo, my heavenly father is the God of the how much more. Ulitin ko po. Our heavenly father is the God of the how much more. Hindi po palit na palit, pat palaki ng palaki. He is awesome, He is great, He is loving. Ito na lahat, alam niya po yung sitwasyon niyo, alam niyo yung mga prayers niyo, alam niya po yung nararandaman niyo. 
God is our God, our Father in heaven who cares for you. Kaya ito po ang sinabi ni Jesus, Ama, Ama. Jesus introduces us to the Father. Ang focus po ng panalangin ay laging nasa Ama. Ang Panginoon ay ang Ama natin na nasa langit. Huwag po natin kakalimutan yan. Siya ay isang babuti at dakilang Ama na nagmamahal sa bawat isa po sa atin at nalulugod sa pagmamahal ng kanyang mga anak. Mga kapatid, pakinggan nyo ito. God is the Father, not only of Jesus, but He is our Father. Interesting po yan. Nakasulat po doon, our Father in Heaven. Hindi po sinabing, my Father. Kaya nakakatuwa minsan pakinggan yung mga Kristiyano eh. Sabi nung isa, imagine nyo, boxing, no? Magkalaban. On the red corner, on the blue corner. Father, tulungan niyo po akong manockout ko siya. Sa kabila naman. Panginoon, bigyan niyo po ang lokas na knockout ko siya. Teka muna, magkapatid kayo. Ngayon, extreme po itong ginawa kong example. Pero it, pinapakita ko po dito, bawat kristyano, nasa word for the world ka man, o nasa ibang iglesia, o nasa ibang mang lugar, o nasa ibang denomin- denomination, word for the world ka man, o COP, or CCF, or victory, isa lang po ang ating Ama. We are one in Christ. We are the body of Christ. Kaya mahirap po sabihin, Lord bless us, Lord wag mong bless siya. Magkakapatid po tayo. We are brothers and sisters in faith. Our Father in heaven. Marami po tayo nakakalimutan minsan. At ito, pinakamatinding nakakalimutan po natin. Prayer is driven by relationship, not by crisis or need. Kailan po kayo madalas mag, 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 uh, mag, uh, nananalangin? Kailan po madalas kayo nagpe-pray? Di ba kung may sakit? Kung may problema? Kung may hinihingi tayo, usually it is out of need. Siguro 50%, maybe 60% ng kongregasyon, kadalasan, kami included, we pray before eating. We pray before sleeping. We pray when we get up. Para bang may oras lang, no? We pray when there is something new. Ay, may bagong bahay, prayer, dedication. Ay, may bagong kotse, pray dedication. Ay, may bagong business, pray dedication. Eh kung luma na, wala ng prayer yun. We pray on the basis of need and we pray on the basis of crisis. Hindi po tama yun. Basahin po natin itong Matthew chapter 7. Therefore, everyone, pakinggan po natin ito mabuti. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Dumating man yung bagyo, tumaas man mo yung tubig, baha, kahit natindi ng lakas ng hangin, that house will stand. It will not fall because its foundation is on the rock. Mga kapatid, Crisis reveals your foundation. Meron marami pong nagmamadali. Magpapagawa ng bahay. Sige, cost cutting tayo. Huwag mo lang lagyan ng foundation. Basta may bubong, okay na yan. Nako, 
Walang pundasyon. Ano mangyayari? Umulan, lulubog yun. Mahina mga pader nun. Ano pang silbi ng bubong? Babagsak din yun sa ulo nyo. Nagmamadali, walang pundasyon. Crisis reveals your foundation. Kahit man bumagyo, okay lang. Kaya. Dumating man ka ang sakit, kaya. Why? Nakatayo po tayo sa maayos na pundasyon. Dahil yung pundasyon hinahanda bago ang krisis. Kaya po yung mga engineers, alam dyan, ito, like Brother Ricky, isang engineer na sa construction. Yung mga design nila sa mga construction nila, preparado, prepared sila for the crisis. Kahit na hindi mayayari at level 8 or signal number 10, signal number 12, anan man, bagyo. Intensity 7, 8, 9, 10, ng design, intensity 8, intensity 9, kakayanin. Why? Maayos yung pundasyon. Ano po yung pundasyon nito? Sabi po dito sa salitang ito, the foundation is on the rock. And the rock is Jesus Christ. And the rock is the Word. And the Word we do because there is power in the Word. At kaya, pong, uh, uh, kaya po natin dumaan sa kahit na anong krisis. If we have, we are standing on the rock called Jesus Christ. Dahil hindi niya tayo papabayaan. The Word and prayer builds up your foundation. Madalas kasi ang prayer, ginagawa na lang po natin, last resort. Magkasakit, kagawa na lang akong paraan, di ba? Sabi ng doktor, o oh, ito ang gawin mo, ito, ay palitan yon doktor. Ayaw ko niyan. Basta ako itong gusto kong gawin. Tapos pagdating ng panahon, matindi na ang sakit. Pupunta tayo sa doktor. Anong sasabihin ng doktor? Sorry, late na eh. Mag-pray ka na lang, baka makaya pa. Church, we only go to the Lord when it's too late. But praise God, even when sometimes it is too late, God will still make a way. Kasi nakakita na po ako, nakawitness na po ako, stage 3, stage 4 cancer. God is able to prolong life. God is able to heal. God is able to bless. Kaya po. Pero wag naman tayo gaganon. Palagi na lang last resort. Instead of last resort, unahin na po natin. Lumapit na po tayo sa Panginoon habang may panahon pa. Habang maayos pa ang buhay, habang malakas pa ang katawan. Lumapit na po tayo sa Panginoon para handa tayo pagdating ng panahon na talagang mahina na ang katawan natin and we need help. God is there already. Wag natin pong huli ang Panginoon. Why? Because prayer is for you. Prayer is personal. Para sa YouTube, kat kapatid. Papano po yung prayer ngayon? Napapansin ko sa mga Kristiyano. Habang tumatagal sa walk. Pagbagong believer, napakasimple. Nag-altar call ngayon. Pupunta sa labas, Lord. Sana hindi umuulan. Eh habang nga dito, narinig po natin ang lakas ng ulan. After the service, paglabas, oh, tapos na ang ulan. Lord, Sana may dumaan na tricycle. Uy, ayan, tumigil sa harap. Napakasimple. Pero tayo, habang tumatagal tayo, first year lang yan, pagdating ng fifth year, tenth year, twenty years of, of, of Christianity, ano na, our Heavenly Father. Iba na yung mga salita. Your loving kindness, your grace and mercy, your power and authority. Naku, iba na yung mga salita. Dati, simple lang, di ba? Panginoon, tulungan mo ko. Ayaw kong mabasa. Panginoon, tulungan mo ko. May sakit yung anak ko. Pagalingin mo siya. Pero pagdating ng 30th year, Lord God Almighty, gamitin mo po ang mga doktor. Nagbago na. Anong nagbago? 
ang Diyos o yung Kristiyano? Lord, magpadala ka. Lord, magpadala kang isang prayer warrior na matindi para mag hands sa anak ko. Eh dati, Panginoon, sabihin mo lang gagaling siya. Ano bang nangyari? Mga kapatid, tayo mismo nagpapakomplikar, tayo mismo nagpapahirap. Prayer no longer becomes spontaneous, naging religion. Naging formal exercise. Ay hindi, hindi ako pwedeng magpray ngayon. Mamaya, ang oras ng prayer, alas otso ng gabi. Eh, kailangan mo na magpray ngayon. Hindi, kailangan, ang morning devotion ko, alas singko ng umaga, hindi pwede yung magbago. The oras, uh, Lord, may appointment ka. Ang appointment ko sa iyo mamayang alas 4 ng umaga. Anong ba ang ginawa natin? The oras ang prayer. Elaborate at super tindi ng prayer natin na mismo tayo hindi natin naiintindihan. Tingnan natin, napakasimple mga prayers ni Jesus. Ito. Memorize natin yan, di ba? The Lord's Prayer. Memorize natin yan. Father, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. Lead us not to temptation. Ano pong masasabi natin sa prayer natin ito? Number one, simple. Napaka-simple. Pangalawa, maikli. Kung ano ang gustong sabihin, ayan, sinabi. Na-imagine ko si Lord nandun doon. Oh, sige, sige. Anong, anong gusto mo, anak? Sige, sige. Sige, sige, sige. A- ano? Ang dami mong sinasabi, eh. paligoy-ligoy. Diretsohin mo na. Sige, sabihin mo na. Sabihin mo na. Sabihin mo na. Kompleto. Lahat po ng kailangan, ando doon na. Ando doon yung adoration, my heavenly father. Ando dyan na yung thanksgiving. Ando dyan na yung needs. Ando dyan na yung forgiveness. Ando dyan na yung protection. Ando doon na. Lahat ng kailangan, ando doon na. Simple. Kompleto. Ngayon, mga kapatid, hindi ko sinasabing memorize nyo ito. Please, huwag niyong memorize. Sa bagay, memorize niyo na. Ito, isang pattern pa lang. Pero kung napaka-simple ang prayer, then it is possible that 1 Thessalonians 5.17 becomes real in our life. Ano po yun? Pray without ceasing. Para bang breathing. Kung ang prayer napaka-simple, then we can pray without ceasing. Lord, salamat. Uh, binigyan mo akong lakas lumakat. Ay, Lord, tulungan mo siya. Hindi ko po alam ko na problema ni Sister Joy, but may your grace be upon her. Nagtatrabaho ako, Lord, tulungan niyo po ako kung saan sa pumupunta yung isip ko. Hindi ako nakaka-focus sa trabaho. Salamat po, Panginoon. Lord, uuwi na ako. Samahan niyo po ako pa uwi. Sana hindi ma-traffic, sana may sasakyan. Lord, gumawa po kayong paraan. Simple prayers to the point. Hindi na yung paligoy-ligoy, pa, hindi na yung magarbo, maarte, diretsyo. Naging sobrang komplikado para bang Ang feeling natin kung mas komplikado at mas haba ba ang prayer, mas marinig ng Panginoon. Huwag po natin kakalimutan that yung prayer, at ito po yung nawala sa atin, yung simpleng prayer na parang nag-uusap lang po ang isang bata at kanyang ama. Alam ko may mga ama dito na sobra-sobra, mga tatay dito na sobrang busy na kailangan yung anak Pa, pa-appointment, bukas, usap lang tayo. Wow, ano ba yun? Tay, alam kong busy ka. Uh, si 
kinausap ko si mami, lagay mo sa calendar mo, 3 o'clock next week, yun ang unang-unang bakanting oras na pwede tayo maglakad na mag-uusap lang tayo. Di ba ganoon? Mga tatay, di ba? Gustong-gusto natin, e, makita lang natin ang ating mga anak, nakaawak natin na ganoon. Nilakad lang tayo, kwentuhan. Para pong itong picture na ito, yung tatay, kasama niya po yung anak niya, nag-uusap lang doon, nagkakwentuhan. Ganoon po ang prayer. Kaya po linagay ko po ito, ang tatay natin, ang ama natin na nasa langit, He is just there beside us. Can we imagine in our daily walk, habang naglalakad tayo dyan, pag alis dito, habang lumalakad po tayo sa maskardo, Panginoon, samaan mo lang ako ha. Kwento-kwentuhan lang tayo. Bukas, alam nyo, matindi yung business eh. May transaction ako bukas. Eh, matindi yung kausap kong negosyante. Sana bigyan mo akong wisdom. O minsan, lalakad ka lang, nakafocus sa Ama. Because prayer also means being quiet, being silent. Paano tayo makakarinig sa Panginoon kung puro salita at puro dakdak tayo? Minsan, we need to be quiet before God. Prayer is not really about us. Prayer, God gave us that. Prayer is not for us. For, not for God, it is for us. Para sa atin to eh. Linikha ito ng Ama. Prayer declares our full dependence on Him. Kaya nga sabi sa John 16, ay lumampas, okay, back. Pakiba, at atras na lang. John 16, uh, Dewi paki ano na lang sa John 16. In John 16, sabi po doon, Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Yan. Well, okay. Until now you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you will receive. And you will receive and what will happen? Ano mayyare? Your joy will be complete. Kaya siguro, marami po sa atin, hindi masaya sa buhay. Wala pong joy. Napakasimple. Mga kapatid, napakasimple. Anong sabi po doon? Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Ano po yun? Ano purpose ng prayer? Ang purpose ng prayer ay para sa atin so that we may have joy. Ang joy ando doon habang nakakatanggap tayo ng biyaya. When God blesses us, we have joy. Joy we receive when we glorify God. Joy is in knowing that God is in action, is moving in our lives. Friends, prayer was the creation of God. Siyang gumawa nito, hindi tayo. Para lalo tayong, lalo natin hahanapin ng Panginoon, we will hunger more for Him. That is why in Matthew chap- uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, Philippians, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Sino po nagsabi nito? God Himself. Ang Diyos mismo nagsasabi, you know, magulat kayo kung sasabihin ko sa inyo, uy, sabihin nyo lang sa akin, bibigay ko sa inyo. Magulat kayo kung sabihin ko yun, kasi hindi ko gagawin yun. Pero ito yung Diyos mismo, sinasabi niya, Lumapit lang kayo dito sa akin. Sabihin mo, ta- hingin niyo lang sa akin, bibigay ko sa inyo. It is God who directs us to pray about what? Everything. Ang Diyos ang naguto sa atin na manalangin po tayo. Bakit? He knows what we need even before we ask. That's Matthew chapter 6. For your father knows what you need before you ask him. Mga kapatid, prayer 
is about a special relationship. It is about a very special relationship. Ito yung relationship na, binibigay, na, na nagbibigay na, uh, ng kapangyarihan sa isang panalangin. It is the relationship that gives power and strength to the prayer. Ito ay hindi, um, hindi dala ng isang obligasyon. Hindi ito napipilitan. It's about you and the Father talking. I get to pray to my Father. Hindi po tayo napipilitan. Cast all your anxieties on Him. Why? He cares for you. Hindi, ta, hindi yun pinipilit. Hindi, we are not forced. Oy, ikaw kapatid, bigay mo sa kanya, bigay mo sa kanya. No! He cares for you. Give it to Him. He loves you. Bless Him. Siya mismo nagsasabi, come to me. All of you are tired. Wala naman namimilit sa inyo. Nobody. But it is God who is telling us it's about a special relationship with Him. The Father cares for you. Why? Because He is a covenant-keeping God who cares for you. Kahit mamabait kayo o hindi, kahit na faithful kayo o hindi, ito yung reality. God still loves you and will always loves you. Ito po yung essence ng sinabi po ni Jesus, for God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. Ganon po kamahal kayo ng Panginoon. Binigay niya ang very best na regalo sa inyo. Sa atin lahat. He opened the way to that special relationship with Jesus. Ito ang tanong mga kapatid. Can we close it, uh, Dewi? Ano pong sagot po natin doon? How do you respond to the goodness of God? How do you respond to the faithfulness of the Father? How do you respond to God say, cast all your burdens upon me? How do you respond, come to me, all of you who are tired and heavily laden? Papano po? Mga kapatid, today is day two week two ng year. Ito po yung second Sunday. At dito po sa grupong to, sa kongregasyon nito, may mga ministry workers, may mga ministry leaders. At ang buong iglesia po, the entire church is going to a period of prayer. Maybe today is the day that everybody can recommit your relationship with the Father. Para bang rededication of our life. Hindi ko po sinasabi hindi kayo committed. Nakikita ko po naman sa mga workers, sa mga ministry leaders, committed ko kayo. Grabing commitment nyo. Sa sobrang committed kayo, committed na po yung buhay nyo. Joke only. Maybe today, we will do something special. Maybe today there is something special that will happen. That as we recommit our life to Him, as we dedicate our life to Him, God will open up something new for 2023. Gusto po natin yun? Do you like that? Do you like that? Nasa puso niyo ba yun? Nobody's forcing you. May mga iba po dito, wala po kayong relation with Jesus Christ. Let's start there. Nag-assume lang tayo na, uy, si Jesus, kilala ko yun. Eh, alam ko naman yun eh. Mula bata ako, yun naman sinasabi. Hindi ko naman sinasabi, if you know about Jesus, no. I'm saying, meron ba kayong relasyon? Pwede niyo bang tawagin si Jesus? Ama, have you experienced the personal love of Jesus in your life. Dito po tayo magsisimula, number one, with all heads bowed and eyes closed. Sa mga nakakarinig po nito ngayon, oras nito, if you need Jesus in your life, 
at hindi niyo pa tinanggap si Jesus bilang Lord at Savior ng inyong buhay. Kaya hindi kayo nakakapray ng maayos. Kaya siguro, hindi sinasagot yung prayer niyo. Today is the day that you can commit your life to Him. Kung hindi dito po kayo at rinig niyo po ang boses ko and gusto niyo pong i-commit ang buhay niyo, you want to surrender your life to Jesus, pakitaas lang ang kamay niyo. If you're here, this is about you and Jesus. Jesus loves you, yes. Yes, anak. Yes, kapatid. Can I invite you to come here? And we'll pray for you. Can I invite you? I'll pray for you. Come. Wag po kayo mahiya. Come as you are. Wag po kayo mahiya. Kung kayo dito po kayo, narinig niya po yung boses ito, this is God calling you. Tinatawag po kayo ng, pang, ng Panginoon. God is calling you by name. Come. Come. And we will pray for you. Lahat po nang tumas ng kamay. Come. Huwag po kayo mahiyak. Come. Any more? Brother Lester, can I ask you to come, please? Now. With all heads bowed and eyes closed. Panginoon, this is a moment of consecration at rededication. Matagal na pong marami po dito matagal ng kristyano pero nakaupo lang po sa tabi-tabi. May mga iba po dito kristyanong nagsisilbi pero ang, ang feeling po napipilitan lang. At may mga ibang kristyano dito na napaka-committed sa service. Lord, today is an opportunity, Lord, to dedicate our life to you. If the Lord moves you, hindi ko pinipilit po kayo. If you want to go to the next level of your walk in Christ, tumayo lang po kayo where you are. If you want to recommit your life to Jesus, if you want to dedicate your life to Jesus, whether you are a worker, ministry leader, hindi po naman nakakahiya yan eh. It's about dedicating my life to Jesus this 2023. Yes, sis. Lahat po nang gustong mag-dedicate ng kanilang buhay to dedicate their ministry, to dedicate their life to Jesus. Tayo lang po kayo. Dedicate your life once more. Dedicate your ministry. Dedicate your commitment to Jesus. Yes. Let's have one song and then we will pray a prayer of dedication. You're free to stand. Yung mga gusto mag-dedicate, just free to stand. It's up to you. Let this song come from your heart. Smile.
Ligtas niyo lang kamay niyo. Panginoon, nakita niyo po bawat kamay na nakataas. Every heart ready to be dedicating their lives to you. Lord, alam niyo po yung mga struggles of yesterday. Alam niyo po yung mga hindrances even of today. Alam niyo po yung bawat takot, bawat fear, bawat insecurity, bawat challenge sa buhay. Panginoon, today, we lay all this at your feet. As we ask of you, as we rededicate our life to you. Father, may your hand of grace be upon each one. Lord, alam niyo po bawat struggle, alam niyo po bawat situation, Lord. Would you come and meet with these in their areas of need? That, Lord, kung provision man, you will provide for all their needs. If it is healing, Lord, you will heal them all, all sickness and disease. If it is empowerment today and wisdom, I ask, Lord, for your Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God to be upon them even now in the name of Jesus. To empower, Lord, the walk. To secure every heart. Lord, buksan niyo po bawat, uh, bawat entryway, Lord, into the heart of hearts. That, Lord, your mga prayer lives will be alive. That from the prayers, oh God, there is going to be miracle upon miracle as I speak blessing upon blessing to each one. Lord, today, it's 2023. And it's going to be a good year because we have a good God. It's going to be a wonderful year because we have an awesome God. At Lord, na naniniwala po kami, bawat isa po dito, that my God, that our God, at our Heavenly Father will protect us. Protect us, Lord, from the disease of our days. Protect us, Lord, from all sickness and pain. That, Lord, you will never leave us nor forsake us. That, Lord, your blessings will follow after us. Father, thank you so much. For today we proclaim that you alone, Jesus, are our Lord. That Jesus, you are our Father. Lord, here we are today. Use us. Gamitin niyo po ang aming mga labi. Gamitin niyo po ang aming mga kamay. Use our heart. Use our mind. Use our, use our beings, Lord. To be living witnesses, Lord. To people all around us. So that we may bring glory to you. And today as we dismiss, may the grace of our loving Father be upon you. May His blessings overflow in your life so that each and every one will be a blessing to many. We thank you, Lord, this day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, church, as you go. Our workers are at the back to receive your tithes and love offerings. As we dismiss, I- iwan niyo na lang po doon yung tithes and love offerings niyo na sa likod. At yung mga booklets po na sa likod.
the Savior. 